I'm Shannon and there is this trend going around TikTok that I have been dying to try myself. Now at this point I'm probably a few weeks late to the game but that's standard operating procedure here on the Hey That I'm Shannon channel so we're doing it anyways. The trending question is one that's been all over my For You page recently and it's one where people draw a line right down the middle of their face and on one half do their makeup like they currently do it and on the other half they do their makeup how they did it 10 years ago. 10 years ago I was 15 almost 16 which is just fucking horrifying to say out loud. I'm 25 and a half now so we're having a quarter life crisis and regressing back to that scene queen that I used to be. The fact that I was like 15, 16 about 10 years ago makes doing this trend way more interesting for me because that was around the time that I was starting to develop my iconic hey there I'm Shannon look. Trust me you know the one it's the one that you guys probably all know me as it's what I looked like all through the my digital escape era and it's honestly what currently still inspires my look today and while I do have the green and black hair rocking again I can promise you a lot has changed in the way that I dress and the way that I do my makeup since then so this should definitely be a fun little experiment in nostalgia for sure all right without any further ado let's kick it like it's motherfucking 2015 and transform back into my digital escape era hey there I'm Shannon Whatever the fuck that means, <laughs> let's do it. All right, so my face is primed and at the ready. And the first thing that I always did when I was doing my makeup back in the golden days of 2015 was my eyebrows. So back then in my digital escape era, I did have a cat scratch. And in fact, I didn't have just one cat scratch. I had two. So first things first, I'm gonna cover up the little tiny tail that I do have of this eyebrow and then get to work. So it's mostly gone and honestly, it doesn't need to be completely covered because back in the day, for some reason, unknown to myself, I used to do my eyebrows in jet black eyeshadow. And so something else that's really funny to me about my eyebrows back in the day is I did not have an angled brush. Like the correct usage of brushes was completely foreign to me. I had one of those like drugstore fucking gel eyeliner brushes it, it was trash dude and that was what i did my eyebrows with because i was also not smart about how i do the cat scratch we'll we'll get there one step at a time shannon day I remember you could not see an individual hair at all they were that black and that dense and thick and the other thing that makes this a very like 2015 look was I had not completely abandoned the like bat wing pointed arch yet so I'm gonna go ahead and and do that as well That looks about right. On to the next one. Okay, so if this was modern day Shannon, your girl would take the eyeshadow and just haphazardly go into where the first cat scratch is going to be because we have this magic thing called makeup remover and we can just take a Q-tip and swoop out the little crease. No, that's not what we did back in the day. I don't know why I wasn't smart enough to figure that out. I would actually take the fucking shitty CVS gel eyeliner brush and I would mark out the square in the middle and then the triangle at the end and so true to form, that's what we're gonna do now. I don't even know if I have the skills to do this anymore. <laughs> How 
did I do this? This looks fucking atrocious. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, so bizarre. Okay, we're, we're almost there, almost there. Yo, actually that kind of looks like way sicker than how I used to do it. Probably because my skills have evolved, but I like it. All right, back in the day, despite being a scene queen, your girl was one of the more like simplistic, minimalistic scene queens, if that's even a thing, it's not, but it, it is. It, you know what I'm saying. I did not wear the extreme makeup. Like pretty much I was my green hair, eyeliner, the little cat scratch, and then black clothes. And that was my look, but it worked, it worked. So as we're moving on eyeliner, don't expect anything extreme. We're just gonna do our good golden emo winged eyeliner. So one of the only changes I can really note in a modern day emo scene eyeliner versus what we did, you know, eight to 10 years ago now, was I personally at least used to do my eyeliner a lot more like curvy, like round wings. Whereas now like with the e-girl revolution, everything is straight and very edgy, like literally has edges. Yeah, that was very much the style that I did. I don't know if you can see it taking shape, but instead of just like straight down, it was very curved. Yeah, that looks about right. Like kind of Amy Winehouse-esque, I guess, maybe. I don't really know where it came from. That's what we did. Again, it's nothing too big and it's like nothing that's like wrong necessarily. It still looks good. It's just, just so subtly different that it's weird. <laughs> So moving on to bottom eyeliner, we were also not very sophisticated there. All I did was take a little simple pen, pencil eyeliner, like this one here, which I'm pretty sure this might literally be the same pencil from that long ago. I need to update my makeup, that's disgusting. And we're just gonna trace the bottom lash line. And if I'm remembering correctly, me personally, I did not do my waterline, which I don't know why that looks really bad, but that's, that's what we did, girl. Okay, cool. And as far as I remember, we were absolutely not sophisticated enough to do tight lining. At least I wasn't at that point. So we're gonna leave it as is in terms of eyeliner. So I do believe that at the time I knew how to do fake lashes, but I don't think I was doing them except for the most special of occasions. I've always had really long natural eyelashes anyways, so I'm pretty sure I just went with mascara back in the day and a lot of it. So let's get ready to apply coat after coat after coat. <laughs> So this is a very niche emo fun fact, but literally probably 15 years ago now, I saw a video of Audrey Kitching getting her makeup done in a Macy's. And in that video, the makeup artist told her to always wiggle the brush back and forth. And to this day, I still do it. So now that that first coat is done, I am definitely convinced I did not use falsies. This was definitely the look every day, especially seven out of seven week when I didn't have a lot of room or time to do my makeup. This was it, people. Boom, eye makeup is almost done. I just have one more step for this. I didn't have all the high quality, fun, like shimmers and highlights and all that stuff. I had a solid little white eyeliner pencil and she came through for a lot for me. In her corner, all I did was put a little smudge and I was feeling flawless. Honestly, I see why I did it because it shows up on camera really well. Like that is popping. 
Like I said, I was a really simple emo girl. So I really only have like one more step to my makeup, which is my skin. Back in the day, the main concern was covering up my acne because even though I still have a little, it was out of fucking control for most of the years of my life, especially back then. There was no contouring, there was no, none of that. It was just one shade all over. So let's go ahead and apply it all. If I was insanely committed to the bit, I would cover up this whole arm of tattoos pretty much because I didn't have any of them at the time, but I'm not, so we're leaving them. <laughs> nice and ghostly. Um, moving on to the final step of the face makeup, that is powder. I know for a fact that I didn't contour back in the day. I know y'all probably knew what it was, but I did not. And I know that for a fact because there was one day that I was in the studio with Johnny actually, and he was doing his makeup across from me and I watched him use gray eyeshadow to define his cheekbones. And I thought to myself like, that is so fucking interesting. I need to try that myself. So you heard it here first. Johnny knew how to contour before I did, which is kind of sad, but whatever, he looks great, great cheekbones. I know these are just like subtle differences to the makeup, but I do feel like I'm looking at me fucking eight years ago in the mirror right now. It's very weird. So the next step is the hair. And although our current wig is very similar to old school Hey There, I'm Shannon green and black hair, inspired by it and all, this is not the wig we're gonna use. It's not close enough. This is the wig we're gonna be using today. So I know what you're thinking, she's a hot fucking mess, but we're gonna get it together, I promise. This one has the split dye, the bangs are straight across, just like I used to have them cut. The only thing that's different about this hair and my old hair is the fact that it's fucking synthetic and not attached to my head, and the fact that it's a little bit too long, but I think we can make it work. Oh God. I am overwhelmed, but we can do this. I believe in us people. First things first, let's detangle this fucking disaster. Now I already got started with cutting this wig. We did a little bit on a live stream the other night. If you don't follow my live streams, you definitely should. I stream on this channel every Monday and Friday night, so definitely subscribe if you haven't. But it's still probably gonna need a little bit of cutting, a little bit of touch-ups. So back in the MDE days, seven out of seven weeks specifically is the look that we've been modeling this whole thing after. I had straight across bangs. My bangs had been cut straight across for quite some time. But by that point, I was pushing them to the side, which is exactly what we're gonna work on doing today. That's a good place to stop cutting. This is mostly what the style looks like. I've got, this really is the main part I was focusing on, this part of the bangs, because we are going to move on to the next step, 
which is another one of my signature styles, and that was the Shrek buns. So scene girls back in the day used to call them space buns. That's what I'm sure all of you guys have heard them called, but because my hair was green, everyone used to call them my Shrek buns. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two of those on each side. Another thing I wanted to mention is the fact that the layers are so choppy. This is actually a good thing because back in the day, I wore extensions that were not blended at all. So this is like literally what the look looked like, you know what I'm saying? My real hair ended like right here and the extensions began as well. So this was actually what my hair looked like back in the NDE days. gonna make it on that last one but we did it and honestly I feel like if they looked any better than this then it wouldn't be true to the look because <laughs> that's how I did them in 2015 nice and fuzzy and frizzy and back home to hell and we love it for that next things next I am going to put on a t-shirt that I used to wear all the time you'll probably recognize it from some of my old videos it's the only thing in my closet that I think I still have back from that time that I still wear which is this Muse shirt I wore tons of band tees back in the day but I got rid of like literally all of them all my Cine bopper band shirts they're gone with the wind I've still got the Muse one though and probably will until the day I die so let's put this on all right, the Muse shirt is on and we are entering uncanny valley territory here because this is getting bizarre. So we have one final step of the transformation and it is honestly what I am looking forward to doing the most out of everything here. That is the piercing. So for those of you who don't remember, back in the day I had, oh shit, what were they? Spider bites, double hoops on one side and I also had them in row on the other side. So. We are gonna complete the look with those. Now I used to always wear black jewelry, which unfortunately I don't have. If I did, that would just be like way too over the top. I would literally look exactly like 16 year old me. I do, however, have silver jewelry that we're gonna try and make do with. This is actually like a legitimate piercing package that I got and I'm gonna have to resist the urge to really do these after I do this, I know it for a fact. All right, so I have two captive ball hoops here for real piercings that I think should work if I take the ball out like this one and hook it on. Oh my God, dude, that is fucking crazy. I love it too. God damn it, I, I cannot pierce myself tonight, I can't. Dude, the way it's clacking on my teeth is so nostalgic. It's bringing me back. <laughs> there we go. Both lip rings are on just how they used to be. And that's, fu it's fucking weird, dude. I, I like it, but I don't, it's scary. I used to have a very large uh, piercing for my Medusa. So I'm gonna use one of these nipple bars and pull the end off of that. That might be a little too big, but I think the next size down is gonna be too small. So we're just gonna go for it for the effect. For the drama of it all. To do this, I am going to take the ball and put a little clear eyelash glue on the part with the hole, as well as right above my lip where I want it to be, and let it dry and stick it on. Holy shit, this is absolutely incredible, you guys. Ah! 
yeah. That finishing touch really brought this together and I need it to stay because it brings the whole look to a close. I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> Okay, well this was definitely one of the weirdest things I've done in a little while and one of the most fun as well, dude. I feel like a fucking fetus right now. This is so bizarre. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming on this absolutely weird journey with me. I loved it and I hope you did too. If you aren't already subscribed, make sure you click that button and turn on all notifications because I am bringing back the scene content swinging this year. Seriously, I really am having like a quarter life crisis and entirely regressing, so I don't know. Join me for it, I guess. Please leave me a comment letting me know how you think I did in recreating my old style. I think I did pretty 10 out of 10, honestly. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys all so much. This was super fun, like I said, and I'm excited to do more content like this. I stream every Monday and Friday and new videos every Wednesday. So I appreciate you guys being here. I love y'all. I'll see you very soon. Have a great rest of your day. Stay pretty, kitties. How to do that one. Bye.